Born in a nondescript middle European country, George Hendrick was an ordinary songwriter until there were whispers that George Hendrick was on steroids. My origin is really of no importance. Uh, where Himmler is from, where Billy Joel is from, uh, it really doesn't matter. And uh, with me it's the same. She's very lovely, isn't she? It's very sweet. The baby came and I guess George had to up the ante. I knew something was up when he went upstairs and wrote 30 courses. I saw him write 12 bridges in a day. Something was going on. Yes, I, I was seeing a, a doctor or whatever, you know, a physician of some kind, uh, you know, and it was just uh, like, you know, rubbing a little something on my, you know, on my arm. And I didn't know, you know, anything, but then I would, I would start just you know, I would have a chorus for everything, you know. And the trees are looking down upon me. You know, that was one. And then, you know, I'm looking down on the trees from above. And, you know, and then I'm in even higher, you know. I am the sun looking down on the trees. You know, and then I was even away from there. I said, I'm out in space looking at the sun and I'm thinking of the trees. You know, and it, there's, there's four, you know, there's four. From my perspective, as far as I can tell, those songs don't count. I mean, if you zipped up on the roids, then, like, who's doing the singing? Who's doing the talking? Is it him? Or is it the sauce? Certainly I'm in the middle of all kinds of uh, controversy, but really I just want to do what's best for me and my family. If anybody was bent out of shape, it was really no fault of mine. There's no lasting power in those songs. They're just like, it's like a line of coke. It's like great for that moment and then all you're left with is this empty, like horrible, hollow feeling and you desperately want more of something that's not around. That's why, you know, like, uh, 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 what was it, uh, a uh, Dog Day Summer. That's not a song. Like, that's not a song. That's just a moment in time and it's gone and nobody cares. I mean, you certainly don't hear anybody singing Dog Day Summer now. Some people like to say that when I wrote Flitznoot, I, I wasn't... I wasn't myself, you know, I was like a different person, like not even a human being. I mean, I get it, I get it, you have a kid, there aren't a lot of options for us, but I've always prided myself on being clean, but you know, George, he's always been George. I'm not going to be one of those that that's naming a lot of names, but... You know, I mean, to think that the music you listen to on the radio and, and in the movies uh, and on the television aren't, uh, are somehow uh, clean like, like a whistle is, is ridiculous and it's, it's people just fooling themselves. You don't need six verses to, say, to, sell, to tell this story. You could have done with four. Maybe those two were steroid driven. I mean, what it is to be human now is is maybe different than it was 20 years ago. But from from 20 years from now, when they look back on today, you know, it'll be like like child's playing. You know, we are we are coming to the to the time when uh, people are half robot. You know, but I am not. I'm not even a a half of a half of a robot. Yeah, when, I mean, when my name came up, uh, it was a shock, you know, I, um, I would never do that. And, I, you know, that guy, Henfield, whatever, writing all those choruses and doing what he's doing. I mean, I could write a song right now, you know, uh, I could write about the, the, the pots and pans, you know, like, the pots and pans are on the stove. It just sucks being lumped in with like, I mean, uh, other names, you know, the 
people that definitely did it. So this is where, you know, the monster was working. This is where I wrote most of the songs during the time in question. Maybe sometimes I wrote a lot of, you know, maybe 50, 60 choruses in a day or a couple of bridges every five minutes for a long period of time, you know, 12 or 13 hours. But uh, there was all of this, this her in mind, you know, it's, it's not inhuman thing, it's a very human thing. Uh, maybe you don't uh, intend to write, you know, a bunch of coders, you know, when you get up in the morning, it's not the first thing on your mind, you know, I'm going to write uh, 44 coders today. We were, get, we were getting 25, 30 jingles a day from this guy, George Hendrick. We knew, this is crazy, that we knew something was up. It's different when you have a, a crying baby, you know. Uh, one afternoon I wrote, I think, like 54, maybe 54, 55 pre-choruses. Oh, I don't buy the music. Um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give it to a friend. I wouldn't put it on a mixtape if that's what you're asking me. I certainly wouldn't do that. Everything's changing, you know. Well, what it is to be human is, is very different now. And, you know, we're maybe becoming more plastic, which, you know, I don't think is such a terrible thing. I, I think people are angry. I think people are still angry. We'll give it five years, give it ten years. But, um, I mean, I get it. I get the anger. Uh, to me, I'm I'm really more just I'm just more disappointed and, and sad. Uh, I mean, if if I could if I could do anything differently, I suppose I might just maybe not have written so many songs, you know. Or maybe on the day I wrote, you know, 40 or 50 bridges, I might have written I don't know, you know, 20 or 25 or something like that, something more uh, in the realm of what what most people can sort of uh, imagine doing. You see, it wasn't only just for me, uh, also for others, I think. It was, uh, it became uh, really effortless to, to make songs. I took equipoise and wrote several poems, but it scared me, so I stopped. I for sure would do steroids to enhance my musical performance. Have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading towards a... a they're economic. They're a bit, um, you know, fuck that guy. Look, I mean, the truth is, is that I did a little bit of it, but it never really affected, you know, my output. Well, I poop on Tommy Lee. He poops on me. Well, I poop on Tommy Lee. He poops on me. on me when I poop on Tommy Lee he poops on me later they say well you know when you wrote the song it uh, you were uh, you know it was like this and it was like that and so the song doesn't count you know but uh, it's ridiculous you know it was, it's, a, it's a song and then people like it and uh, it doesn't matter Let's get to 